Hello there, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm George Francis, sitting here in my home studio with my good friend, Scully. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm not sure why he's English. I think he might have been one of the drummers in Spinal Tap. I don't know. So anyways, today I have a really cool thing that happened. I was over at a friend of mine's studio, Eric Blackman. EE -E Music, you gotta check that out. He's a great uh, music teacher and a great friend to have. Uh, he had one of these Alesis DM5s and I needed another one uh, for an external trigger device for my Zendrum. Uh, however, his Alesis DM5, made all the way back in 1994, had quit working. Uh, apparently it suffered some kind of failure either with the EEPROM chip or had some kind of maybe a power surge that caused it to go bad. Electronics that get old, especially since they're from 1994, tend to stop working anyways. Um, so I said, well, you know, I would love to have it. And he said, I'd love for you to have it. Uh, so I brought it home, plugged it into the wall, turned it on, and for sure it, was, it had lost its mind. The display was displaying all kinds of weird, broken Chinese-Japanese characters. Didn't make any sense. Uh, the drum sets were not sounding. I could probably make it make one sound by plugging into one or two of the uh, trigger inputs on the back. Um, and when I'd switch trigger inputs, it would cause all these lights to go into different weird modes and all kinds of weird crap was going on. So I figured either the battery had died and stopped supporting the chip or the memory or it had suffered some bad static charge or just some, it just died. So I had a Alesis DM5 that I used on a road rig. I decided to take the EEPROM chip out of it. Uh, but before I did that, I said, well, why don't I just do a factory reset on this thing and see what I come up with? So I did a factory reset, and it came back almost. Uh, the first four drum sets actually started working. The display started making sense. But after I had turned the value wheel about five or six turns, it started going back to its original state, and then it wouldn't work anymore. So I decided I'm going to swap the chips. I swapped the chip out of my old DM5 into this one did a factory reset, loaded all of its factory loadings and, you know, everything, and it started working again, and it works perfectly. Uh, it makes all the sounds, uh, all the drum sets are there, the MIDI works, and uh, I hooked it up to my keyboard, and it works. So that's really cool. Um, the MIDI input works. I want to make sure that it works with other equipment, so this is a test of that. Uh, the D4 came out, I believe, in 87 or 90 or somewhere around there, maybe 1991. It, it's, it's older than this one. The DM5 succeeded it. So I'm going to MIDI these two together and see what I can find. Find, find me a good... Put them two together. And they both work together, so that's cool. So, works. What did you think about that, Scully? Did you like it? I liked it a lot. Really, I did. Okay, well then that's all that matters. All right, well, that's all the time we've got. I'm George Francis. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.